Hello everyone and welcome to another exciting Cinema 4D tutorial. Uh, today's tutorial I'm gonna be showing you how to make this uh, really cool looking uh, abstract shape in Cinema 4D and uh, you are gonna need some uh, plugin. Uh, the plugin's name is uh, CT Mistress Master so I'm gonna be including that in the description so you guys can download it it's uh, for free yeah so uh, let's get into it so uh, let's go first to file and then create a new file and uh, I'm gonna be uh, putting a uh, platonic uh, shape thing in here yeah so let's begin with that so uh, the first thing is we are gonna increase the segments to 3 and then we go directly to uh, MoGraph uh, or sorry plugin city mysteries and trace maze tracer and drag the plat platonic uh, object as a child of the maze tracer so we get this uh, abstract uh, looking path so the next thing is we are going to uh, uh, duplicate the platonic or add a, another one and this time let's make the radius to uh, 75 and reduce the segments to 1 yeah. Okay, not this one. Let's decrease this one to 75 and the segments to 3. Yeah. <coughs> so the next thing is we're gonna go to add a uh, maybe a circle or in this inside path. Yeah. Let's uh, decrease the radius to something like 5. MD size to uh, maybe 2 or leave it at 6 yeah so let's drag this down let's go to the uh, this panel and add a sweetener and select both of these mystery tracer and the other path and drag them directly into the sweetener yeah so let's go in here and I think this is looking quite uh, enough. So let's uh, group everything by selecting everything by Control A or uh, selecting by dragging the mouse and then Alt G to group them in a group. Let's name the group to um, I don't know. Let's let's keep it as null. So. Uh, next thing is we're gonna go to add the materials. So the first uh, or the inside material is a glowing material. So let's add a luminous. Let's change the color to something more like a bluish color. And maybe increase the uh, brightness to 150%. And drag this material into the inside uh, shape. And uh, for the glass material, we're gonna go to uh, create load materials, visualize materials, and then go to glass. Maybe you won't find this uh, visualize library, it depends on the version of Cinema 4D you are using, but. Uh, it's just a, a glass material you are gonna find it anyway yeah so this is how it looks like so next thing is we're gonna go to the uh, Miranda settings we're gonna go to mess around with them uh, let's make the width 1920 by uh, height 1080 with 20, 72 pixels per inch let's uh, add a 
have but before that let's go to anti aliasing or I don't know how to pronounce that let's change it from geometry to best let's add a ambient inclusion and a glow you can leave the glow uh, effect but I'm gonna be using it for a better result so let's render it again and see how that will look okay this will take a uh, uh, greater time so let's add a interactive render region yeah this is looking like what we want except for the bad quality of the uh, render region thing so let's uh, add the floor remove this uh, render region let's drag everything up a little bit by holding shift to get good numbers yeah let's add another material let's uh, change the color from texture to uh, guardian gradient sorry so let's change the, uh, the side to uh, Uh, something like dark gray and is to something like an even darker gray and let's change it from 2d u to 2d circular yeah let's drag this in the uh, floor material and change it from a flat to uh, frontal yeah and now we're gonna we're gonna add the light so I'm gonna first add the first light let's uh, drag it let's make it a little higher like uh, thousand centimeters up <coughs> And make it <coughs> sorry maybe 300 centimeters yeah let's duplicate it by uh, control C control V okay, let's control C control V and then change the X to minus 300 so let's go back to the first light go to general change the color to something <coughs> like a warm color And go to the second one and change a blue color so the next thing is uh, let's change it to something bluer first and then uh, let's uh, Make this interactive render region to see how that would look. Okay, uh, one uh, last thing is select both lights and uh, change the shadow from shadow maps soft. And let's see how uh, it will look. So let's render a preview and see how that will look and of course this will take so much time so I think I'm gonna pause the video and be right back. So I'm back here after rendering the, uh, the project file and uh, this is what uh, you guys should, should get. I hope you guys enjoyed that tutorial and learned something new. Leave a like or comment and make sure you hit the subscribe button to get my latest tutorial. Thank you guys for watching and see you on another tutorial.